Hello YouTubers, it's Bill. It's time for another episode of Chef Bill Cooks. Today I'm going to be making an Italian bean soup with all the flavors of an Italian sausage bean soup, but without the sausage. I'm going to give it a try. Here's what's required. We're going to need some northern beans, great northern beans, got that. We're going to need an onion, got that. Some celery, a uh, couple stalks of that. I need some carrots. Some of those, and we're going to need some spices. Fennel seed, uh, garlic powder, um, red pepper flakes, and bay leaves. And we're going to use my new slow cooker. This is the slow cooker, which I just got a little while ago. It should be a lot of fun. Stick around. We'll see. Well, it's mostly chopping, put things in, and wait. Let's give it a try. All right, so one of the things I learned from my mentor, Chef Buck, is to have the prep done first and then start cooking. So I've got some onions, carrots, celery, and I'm, I'm putting this part in uh, with a twine on it because I want to pull it out later and not eat it, but the flavor, I think, is going to be in those leaves. Some the spices all done out, uh, bay leaves, fennel seeds, oregano, hot pepper flakes, garlic powder, and the beans. All that plus five cups of water, and we will have soup in five hours. So, beans first. Then comes, uh, why not the carrots? Sure, they're pretty. Uh, then comes uh, celery, including the celery bundle and the chopped celery. Then comes the onions. It hardly seems like cooking. It seems more like just putting things together. Then comes all the spices. These are the bay leaves and the fennel seeds. The oregano. The hot pepper flakes. Hardly seems like enough of those. And then some garlic powder. And five cups of water. All right, and the water comes in two batches. There's the first batch. And here's the second batch. And then we put it on, you know, either medium or high. I have to look still. And let it cook for five hours. All right, it's on high for four hours, so I'll come back and add another hour in. I'll turn it off and then turn it back on at, in one hour from now. All right, uh, time's up on the soup. Uh, what I'm going to do now is remove the bundle of celery that I had in there to provide the extra flavor. And uh, if I can find it, I'll put the bay leaves out. There's one. And there's another one. All right, so uh, now comes the time to give it a taste test. So, wish me luck. All right, it's definitely pretty good. Um, it needed salt and pepper, but I highly recommend it. Another choice that you have making this soup is you can drain the, the liquid out and place it with broth. Uh, they said that causes less gas that way. That's up to you. Thanks for watching, YouTubers, and bon appetit. And lastly, I would say adding the Parmesan cheese, uh, as suggested in the recipe, uh, adds a nice creamy texture to this uh, Tuscan beans soup. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. Molte bene.